on the budget and on salaries? No, you won't be Okay. Um, coming out of the regular session, what we can do is vote on um, the budget, the balance budget. If you care to put on the agenda, just touch salaries. We can't at that time, but we need to approve the budget itself. Is that what you're speaking to? Yes, sir. to 2E, consideration and action to approve ordinance 2015-025, levying taxes for the maintenance and operation of the city of Floresville and providing for the interest and sinking fund for the year 2015. Connie and Henry. Uh, yes, I want to make sure that everybody has that revised because we had uh, some typos in the other. Um, as you see, the OM is 0.15110. Interesting thing is 0 0.04, 0 0.17400, 0 0.04, 0 0.17400, 0 0.04, and the tax is 0 0.32552, which is that current rate that we have currently. Okay, Mr. Chairman, I'm going to the one that we have in our packet is the, the wrong one. The one that you handed out is the correct one. You know, it, what's wrong in, in the ordinance that you have is just the distribution of the uh, rate. Oh, you, it's already corrected. Okay. Yeah, but the uh, bottom line is, is correct. It's a 3252. Two. Okay. Because the other two are. are yes. Madam Mayor, can we, Madam Mayor, can we uh, 
move on to the meeting to have the ordinance typed up and you should improve it when it's corrected? I can go do it right now. Yeah. 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 2G consideration action to approve the 2015-2016 volunteer fire department contract. Yes, ma'am. This is the same budget that we had last year. Um, we were renewing it. They came out and had a budget workshop um, for the same dollar amount. Uh, the city secretary, city attorney, has comments on that. Yes. Uh, in section 2.01 on there, uh, it's got that it'll continue from time to time. Uh, even though the, the original agreement was only from October 1st, 2014 through September 30th, 2015, uh, the contract as exists says it'll continue. All we had to do was before October 1st have a meeting on the terms and make sure everything was still agreeable. They came to the workshop, we all met together. They said they want the same exact amount of money, happy with the contract. So this existing contract will continue uh, in force uh, if the council approves. With no changes. Correct. <coughs> There is a change. We raised them. That was a dollar for equipment. That's in the budget. But that's budgeting. That's, that's not budget. That's, yeah. Yeah. that's not oh. a service agreement. Right. Okay, any citizen comments on that? Hear that, Councilman, a motion? I so moved to approve the 2015 2016 volunteer fire department contract. Second. A motion? Yes. Second, Madam Mayor. Okay, second by Councilman Ortiz. Councilman Bejada, how do you vote? Yes. Councilman Guerrero? Yes. Councilman Rodriguez? Yes. Motion carries 5 0. Then we're going to go on to item H, consideration and action to approve ordinance 2015 026, budget amendment number 12, year end revenues. I'm always very conservative, so I'm saying only 300,000 increase on the fund balance. Uh, what we have here is a, an increase on the, um, do you have a, the report from ENCO on the revenues? No, the ENCO report. It was not included on your packet? No. Okay. Um, Excuse me? With the amendment, the one that says budget revenues amendment? With the amendment, yeah. You should have an ENCODE a report for all the uh, revenues for each fund. And uh, what I wanted to see for you to see there is what we had budgeted and what we had actually collected. And uh, the difference is what was on brackets in that report. Um, so, uh, yes. So for utility fund, there was an increase on revenues of 281,251. Did you find it? You have it? Okay, and if you want to compare that report to the attached, to the attached uh, budget amendment. This one goes line item by line item, but what's on the ordinance is just the total, okay? So your general fund revenues increased by 162,240. Refuse fund, three million, three, sorry, I'm tired already. 3,740. Cemetery is uh, 7,600. Street maintenance tax, it was a 26,400. I want to make a note of that. Even though we had decreases in two months in sales tax, we still had an increase in revenue on that uh, street maintenance tax. And that's purely sales tax revenue. So I just wanted to make a note of that. Uh, for a civic center, there was a $29,000 increase on revenues. 
So the total revenue increase for the year was 590,231. I had, on general fund, I had put aside a total of $200,000 in, in the expenditure. When I do a budget, I get all my revenues and the expenditures. I make it a point not to spend all the revenues on the expenditure for the same year. I try to keep it in lower. So the difference in between that, that's what I say, so we can put it on the plan balance reserve. Okay, so we can go ahead and meet the 90 days for the uh, insolvency plan. So I have like about $200,000 in there, and then the increase in revenue, which is gonna go in there too, is 162. So that's the reason why I was saying that we're gonna get about 300,000 this year. Increase on plan balance. Uh, and then also on, just it shows it on the, the sheet that says budget revenues amendment. The, it's got a list of revenue going down. Mm -hmm. But on the, the other sheet where it's itemized, you see this one here? Uh -huh. It shows it on this one. The, the, the figures don't add up on the first sheet, but it's because it, on 311, it only shows $3,740. Yeah, those are the, the discounts that um, the um, tax office gives on the uh, property tax. No, on the refuse fund? On the refuse? Oh, I thought you were talking about... Uh, no, 311. You see your 311 on your ordinance? You've got $3,740. But then on the revenue amendment, it shows $83,000, which makes more sense. It will add up to $591. If not, it doesn't, it doesn't, on the ordinance, it doesn't add up to $590. Yeah, and I, I don't prepare the ordinances, so obviously there's a... A typo in there. You're up eighty thousand dollars. Yes, I did notice that because I get to review these before the meeting. So, so actually, my revenue is five hundred and ninety-one, three sixty-three. Yeah, there's an error in the ordinance. Do you want me to give you the total? I can run it right, right now. Uh, however, you, you have it on this cheek. It's on the bottom. It's 591,363. I consideration election to approve ordinance 2015-2027, budget amendment number 13, year end, FEDC. Okay. 
that's also the same. And I already presented this budget amendment to FEDC on Monday's uh, meeting. And they only had a 2,690 increase in revenue, and that was because of the beer warehouse that they anticipated that they were gonna transfer to the city early uh, October, but it didn't happen until, I wanna say January or February. So there was some revenue collected that was not expected, so that is the, the reason for this ordinance. Is it our money? No, ma'am. <laughs> I'm sorry. They still pay this rent for the year, right? Sir? They still pay the rent for this year? Uh, they paid the rent until the building was transferred, yeah. yes. Yeah, this one is correct. Yes, I move to approve ordinance 2015-027, budget amendment number 13, year end FEDC. Okay, I have a motion by Councilman Yantham. May I have a second? I'll second. Second by Councilman Guerrero. Councilman Rodriguez, how do you vote? Just a quick question, I'm just, where is uh, section one, is that correct? 2014, 2015, that's clear? Yes, sir. Yeah, it's on the current year. Okay. And what these amendments are, they're year in uh, alignment of the budget. Okay. okay. We don't necessarily have to do it, but auditors will give you a good comment if you have your budget aligned at the end of the year, and it's also a good practice. Okay. And you know how much more money you got instead of what you had planned to get. Yes. Okay, Councilman Rodriguez, are you both? Yes. Councilman Yes. Councilman Tejada. Yes. Motion carries five zero. Okay, we got the ordinance 2015-025. Do you want to go ahead and move on to that? Yes. And what you have before you is it is correct now. There's one other small change uh, because when I went in there, I copied. We're switching between the P and I's lower, but the M and O's lower. So under the Truth and Taxation laws that were passed, there's a new notation on the bottom of the ordinance that says this will increase the revenue gain from the M and O, but there's another line that says it will not increase the the taxes on a a home valued at 100,000 because it's the same overall tax rate, but because it's a portion different, the state makes us put that language on. Yeah. And if you uh, would like for me to explain that, I can. Twenty fifteen dash zero twenty five. Is there any citizens' comments on this? Yes, ma'am. For the record, my name is General. Some comments about me threatening a rollback rate. One, I don't have the authority to generate a, a, a rollback election. That's the authority of the people of the community. I did spend some time meeting with the city manager and the comptroller over the budgets and expressed some concern about the uh, changes in the INS rate and the MO rate as compared to previous years. Um, we can only review the 2014-2015 time period. And it was clear that the debt for the event center and the debt for the 4B corporation was included in the INS rate for the current year. We could not validate current rates from previous years because of lack of records on the city's part. This in part 
is the biggest reason for the disparity between the proposed rate and effective rate and what the state legislature, legislature through truth and taxation refers to as a roll benefit. I believe um, that that justifies some explanation to the people of the city. Not simply saying we're keeping the tax rate the same. Uh, this is a budget that, that leaves a lot of questions and it leaves a lot of risk and makes a lot of assumptions going forward without any projection for further years. Despite the uh, requirement in, in the uh, insolvency plan for a three-year budget, that didn't come to fruition. But before this tax rate is adopted, I would hope that the council would address that to the citizens of this community, not only the ones that are here in this room, but those that the Wilson County News will share with and the citizens that are not here that will hear from the citizens that are here as to why the difference. And, you know, you can call it double taxation or you can call it inaccurate or you can call it a good faith mistake. But it does need to be explained to the citizens of the community as to why do we have this disparity. If they have the right to petition for a rollback election for a tax rate that's 26 cents and some change, and you're proposing a 32 cent tax rate, we have the responsibility to inform the citizens of the community as to why. Thank you. same rate that we have currently that we're going forward. So that's what we are participating going forward and um, looking forward to having a fair rental tax rate going forward. Okay, now we're going to go back in to um, ordinance 2015-025 to take a, take a vote. May I have a motion? That's the move, Mayor. Okay, I have a motion by Council Mr. Hanna. May I have a second? A second? Second by Council Member. Council Member, please, how do you vote? Yes. Council Member Guevara, how do you vote? Yes. Council Member Lee. Yes. Motion carries 5 0. for the fiscal year 20, beginning on October 1, 2015, and ending on September 30th, 2016, providing for taxes for the maintenance and operation of the municipal government of the city of Florida, Texas, and providing for the interest and sinking fund for the year 2015.
The total the ordinance was still not fixed. The 83,000 was fixed, but the 591,000 <coughs> was not corrected. So that's what we're doing. Do okay, we'll do that one when we come back. Let's, yeah. If I can have a motion to go into executive session. Uh, Pursuant to section 551.074. Of the Texas Government Code Personnel Matters to deliberate the appointment, employment, evaluation, reassignment, duties, discipline, or dismissal of a public officer or employee, review the city manager's contract. I have a motion. So moved. And a second. Second. Councilman Tejada, have you vote? Yes. Councilman Ortiz? Yes. yes. Councilman Ortiz? Yes. 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 Yes.